Combat sport coaches lie. Combat sport coaches lie all the time, and they don't lie about anything more than they lie about how to fight a taller opponent. Like, that's the question I get the most. Hey, Mike, can you make a video on how to fight a taller person? I'm 5'5", five five. that's every video I've ever made. Check out these new gloves. These are really cool. This is a limited edition, hard to hurt edition of the Rev Gear S5. It's our favorite sparring glove. They're orange and they have black on black. You can only get them at the link in the description below. If you go to the Rev Gear website without my help, you won't get them. They're only, they only there's only 30 pairs of these. Actually only 29, because one's on my hands. First ones. Go click that link in the description below. I've done a full review on these. These are my favorite sparring glove. Tyler wears them, Natalia wears them. Pretty much everyone in here wears them because they give us a little bit of unfair advantage because they're real narrow and they got a bit a little extra, maybe an inch, inch and a quarter of reach so you can reach out and touch someone. And reach is important when fighting a taller person. People will often tell you when you're fighting taller opponents, you either need to be all the way in or all the way out. That's what they'll tell you. That's bullshit. That's a lie. It sounds right, man. It sounds like, like, because if I'm all the way in, Tyler's at the very end of my most powerful punches, and I'm inside the arc. If Tyler tries to throw punches, he's, he, he, I'm, he has to really tighten them up and shorten them up, and he's not at his good power arc, whereas I am. Conversely, all the way out, this is a no brainer. If I'm all the way out, Tyler can't hit me. Oh no, he misses. Throw a kick. Well, that's how these myths get repeated. It sounds like it makes sense, but all the way in or all the way out doesn't help you beat a taller opponent. It just helps you lose more slowly. The truth is you want to be right out there on the end of his strikes. Oh, I know that doesn't sound right. Right on the end of the strikes. No, Mike, that's the most terrible place to be. Cause like I'm right out on the end of his strikes and my stuff is missing. That's where they're the most powerful. But if I'm here, are you just going to stand here and let me be here? Yeah. Or are you going to probably move out, frame out? Or if this is mu Muay Thai or MMA, they'll probably tie me up and clinch me up and then I'm in a lot of trouble. And if I'm all the way out, how the hell do I hit you? All right, I have to get over there. It's true that devastating knockouts, catastrophic endings to fights occur right out in the end of the punches. Right out in the end of his punch. But guess where else they happen? Right out in the end of my punch. That's where we need to be. We need to be in that mid-range to win. I don't want to lose slowly, I want to win. But how do we do that safely? I sort of lied, because combat coaches lie. I'm actually not going to be right out in the end of his punches. I'm going to let him think I'm right out in the end of his punches. That's how we do it, through distance management, positioning, and footwork. I have to just suggest that I'm going to be there. We've done this drill, I've shown up pieces of this drill before. We'll use the, the jab and his teeth. We'll do those two things. So I step in, you jab. Boom, that's bad. This is the dilemma that you short guys are facing, right? This is what sucks, right? Mm-hmm. Mm, I suggested it. Now Tyler's a little wily, but you saw I got a little bite. I got a little piece of something. You kind of thought I was there. With the teeth. Uh, you teep me, you stay, I, don't you move that back foot I know, but it's, Oh my it's God. my real teep. Oh God, he moved his back. Don't you move that back foot. I walk in, you teep. No, the big tall guy is keeping me away with his long range weapons. Oh, come on. Yeah, oh, I wasn't really there. Just grazed, all right? You walk in, get teeped. Oh, get teeped, noob. Oh God, that hurts, man. Who taught you how to do that? That's what you have to do. You just have to suggest that you're gonna be there. You cannot get anything done all the way in, 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 or all the way out in this machete fight. You see noobs from MMA classes in that machete fight all the time. Mm -hmm. You know machete fights when we're like. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much every fight. <laughs> yeah. an MMA fight. Amateur. The higher level you get. That's why those Dutch boys who are real good. Those K1 guys are like this far apart. Yeah. Right on the end. Could end at any minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? This won't work. Me, 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 me. And this won't do anything but let him time me out and rock me as I come in. I have to take the initiative through my superior tactics, positioning, and footwork. Good footwork is small footwork. Good head movement is small head movement. I suggest these things to you. I don't go, ha ha, you're not gonna bite. 
I don't go like this. Ha! I'm not in position to actually win. I'm just losing more slowly. In this case, a second more slowly. It has to be smart, tactical. You can keep me away with whatever. You can keep me away with teeper jab, whatever. All right, okay. Ah, ha, ha, I got him. Try again. Go ahead, no, like, land me. Like, it's fine if you give me a couple times, it'll look real. Get, yeah, go ahead, yeah, cool. No, you keep me away, stop hunting me down. Uh, That's a different video. <laughs> You're keeping me away, I'm the little guy. You're scared of my power, remember? Ugh, right, I'm trying to land that big overhand. Oh, God, right? Oh, yeah. Come on, what about the teeth? Try the teeth. The teeth is, it's almost there. <laughs> Come on. You have to just suggest and look at the movement that I'm using. To you, it might not, it, to them, I don't know what it looks like on camera. Maybe it doesn't look like I'm doing anything, but Tyler can tell you that I'm. Yeah. There's a thing. You have to get good at it. You have to build up composure. The way you drill that is exactly what we're doing. I walk in, you hit me, all right? Cool, I walk in, you hit me. And then I start working with, right, making them reach, getting the things, right? Just parry and punish. Because if you get in, if you try to find your way all the way in or all the way out, you're missing that key component, which is being right, having him right out on the end of your strikes. That's how you win. Because I'm interested in winning, not losing more slowly. But I'm not your coach, so I don't have to lie to you. Coaches lie. You have to lie to people. Because if you tell them the truth early on, it'll either sound crazy. What? With the feds finding out that aliens were real. That was uh, the analogy. Yeah. That's no, the analogy. Aliens, man. Think about if you started to... So, so everything that we know about aliens. Think if we met a new person. Yeah. And you start just, you just tell them everything you know about aliens. They'll be like, yeah, right? If your coach told you the truth, here's what you do, homeboy. You get in there and you get right out on the end of his punches and you flirt with that line. That's disastrous. Yeah. They're going to think you're a loon or they're going to get knocked the fuck out. But I can tell you the truth. The truth is you got to be right out there in the end. You got to flirt with it. You got to look danger right in the eye. Be close. Be composed. I know, right? I know your range. I know your range. Watch He's going to step into one. I'm going to be gone. Ah. I'm suggesting that I'm there. And then I'm... And then, uh, uh, bang! That's how you beat a taller opponent. These look so good. Man. They do. Those are perfect. They, and they went all orange. They, tried, they, they, they did the black and orange before, which I didn't feel quite encapsulated. I was going to say, I feel like I've seen those before, but not, not this. as orange. No, I mean, this is no, all orange, orange. Yeah. yeah. They were like almost like, I think it was just the reverse. It was like black everywhere. It was like all black, the thumb was orange. And yeah. Was it even an S5? No, it wasn't the S5, it was the it was S3. A, yeah. But I said, this is my glove. Like yeah. I, I wear the S5. Yeah. I've had three pairs of S5s. I endorse the S5. Unpaid endorsement, by the way. I just, I love these. they paid me to, it's funny, I tricked them because they paid me to, to endorse it. I'd already done it a bunch yeah. of times. I'm like, these gloves are the shit. Yeah. And they're they like, are. hey, will you make a video about the S5? And I was like, sure. Listen to this. There's only, there's only 20 of these in the 12 ounce. For you little guys and you ladies out there. There's only 29 left in the 16 ounce. And that's it. That's all they got. In the black on black, they've got 20 of the 12 ounce, 20 and 14 ounce, and 57 in the 16 ounce. I want to know where those three went. I, huh? Here. No, we didn't get them yet. I guarantee us some jabronis up there at the factory that were like, yeah, these are oh, sick. those are sick. I'm getting those. Black on black ones as well. Limited edition. You can't get them in it. It's the S5, the glove that we endorse, in the colors that we endorse. And they want to do, they want to do like more stuff with me, but I got to kind of prove, I got to prove that, uh, that we can do this. Yep, right there. Do you want me to stand in the orthodox? The whole yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Take your socks off. Yeah. I was gonna ask that next. <laughs> Yuck, man. I always wear my socks. Socks on the mat. Rule number. You can't wear socks. You, can you don't wear... know the rules? The mat well, rules? I knew you can't wear shoes, but I didn't know. Rule number one. No, no shoes. shoes on the mat. No. No bare feet off the mat. Uh, no uh, socks in yeah, either damn. place. No socks. There's like a double rule on the no socks. Yeah. You might as well just not wear socks. No, you have to wear socks with your yeah. shoes. Well, it says no socks in either place, so it didn't. Saying you can't walk around in socky feet. Don't walk around in your socky feet. 
Don't wear socks. Don't wear shoes with no socks. If you wear shoes with no socks, you can't fight.